Hi there, I'm Valerie, here is today's video and then I will be back with news on Beetlejuice 2. tell them that you're trying to run a thousand kilometers in four different deserts. They just tell you, you know, you're crazy. It's 100 degrees out, the wind is blowing, and it's like someone's got a hair dry on your face. Dehydration is going to be a big issue today. I'll breathe too good. You know, sand grazing your feet until they bleed, your back getting blisters the size of a plate. No, but actually I don't feel very good. Falling down in the sand with exhaustion. Yeah. We're just going uphill continuously. I'm very close to my pain barrier. Why would you want to crucify yourself? I was going up the escalator on the tube, and I got to the top of the escalator, and I was like, you know, out of breath, and I was like, man, I'm 30 years old. I've been an athlete my whole life. I can't be out of breath. So then I, st I just started taking up running. I say to my kids, you know, whatever it is you want in life, have a passion. I don't care what it is, but have a passion for something. I think it's for me, I'm doing it to prove to myself that I can do these things, that I can finish them, that I have got the, the strength of mind, the strength of character. How far can I push myself without killing myself? I've had to work really hard to get here, push through injuries, push through financial barriers. I certainly realize that I am a control freak. It's hard to let go being so on the ball. I was in a wreck. And then over the course of a year, my whole world sort of turned upside down. The whole intention of doing four deserts in a year, it was a part of my grieving process. The only thing I know how to do is put one leg in front of the other. It doesn't go away. It's not go away the feeling of, am I going to get through this? We're in the desert. Like, there's a lot of unknown factors here. Heat, terrain, things that I can't really control. I think man, innately, just seeks to see how much further can we push the envelope. Oh. My body is shutting down. Has he been up there for four hours? This has just like changed this whole race for me. I'm just really confused. People say, well, it's, it's quite hard to do all four in a year. And they're right. I'll, I'll never quit. I don't, I don't care if I had to walk on my yeah, hands and knees. There's no way I'm going to quit. It's showtime, well, maybe, for Winona Ryder as she has strongly hinted that the rumored Beetlejuice 2 project might be going ahead and, more importantly, that she will be involved in it. Stating that she is sworn to secrecy, Ryder explained that she was originally cautious about returning for a sequel, but her interest was piqued when she heard that a script penned by Seth Graham Smith set a sequel 27 years after the first film. Rumors have been flowing recently that Tim Burton will return to direct the sequel, however there is no certainty there. But one thing's for certain, Winona Ryder is definitely interested in returning. Whether anything comes off Bitter Juice 2 or not. That's all for today. Subscribe to Film Is Now to keep updated on all the latest trailers and news from Hollywood. And see you next time.